August 5th, 2019. Thus, I'm really delivering it with a heavy heart. A heavy heart that I'm sure is shared with many of you, given the recent tragedies in Dayton and El Paso. But even though my heart is heavy, I felt like I wanted to make this video to communicate some feelings I had about the finger of derision. You see, ever since the shooting came to light, I've seen a lot on social media about the motives of the shooters. And obviously there's a lot of hatred and derisive fingers involved in that as well. But what I've seen on social media is numerous fingers of derision. People are blaming our president. People are blaming the quote unquote other side. There's all kinds of fingers being pointed in every direction. And I kind of get that on one level because to be honest with you, as much as I try to guide myself with the principle of love, I'm tempted at times to point that finger of derision at others. But I realize that there's no point to that. Because you see, to me, every time you or I or anybody else points the finger of derision towards someone else, what we really begin to create is division. By attempting to degrade someone or attack someone or shame someone, whatever word you want to use, we begin to build walls between each other because the subject of your derision doesn't maybe necessarily want to accept your derision. And they maybe cast it back at you and the wall gets bigger. The wall gets bigger and bigger and we grow more and more apart, which as I see it is in our natural state. Instead, as I see it, our natural state is to love each other, to support each other, to try to understand each other, and to try to evolve together in this human experience. And we do that not by pointing fingers, but by opening our ears, our minds, and probably most importantly our hearts, to listening to what other people have to say, to listening to their views, to understanding maybe the fears they have that stand behind them, their choice to cast the finger of derision. This to me seems like the only way we're gonna get past the hate and back to love. Love will heal us, love will move us forward but not if we allow derision and judgments and finger pointing to divide or separate us from that love, to separate us from our source. I hope this was of value to you. Certainly felt good to me to share this with you. And I hope somebody out there hears this and just maybe one less finger of derision in the world. Thank you so much.